Hello, cousin. Hi, Emma. How's it going? What? I said, how's it going? Great. So you're studying for the big Facebook test. Emma, do you need something? I haven't seen you in a while. Well, I've been busy doing football stuff. When you say football stuff, do you really mean Sarah Hansen? No, I broke up with her nine days ago. Or I don't even remember how long. Probably like a month ago. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. Clearly not upset about that. I'm not. Have you talked to her? No, you know what? I don't care. Emma, here's the thing. My business is none of your business, so why don't you well, just scoot it's my along? business when I bump into Aunt Sue and she asks how we've been enjoying youth group. What did you tell her? Well, what was I supposed to say? You're supposed to cover for me. We're cousins. That's what yeah, the heck. Yeah, I understand that, but I didn't even know what was going on. Well, great. Thanks a lot. Now I'm going to be grounded. Hey, it's not fair. I didn't do this to you. Josh, what's going on? I don't know. Life sucks, okay? My mom's boyfriend just moved in. Football's really stressful. And you know what? Yeah, I miss Sarah. What are you gonna do? Look, I'll, I'll figure it out. You know, Josh, you don't have to figure it out alone. It doesn't really look like anybody else is gonna help me. You and don't could. bring up Jesus. Please, I'm not in the mood. You were last summer. Look, that was cool and all. It's just, it's not realistic. What's not? The whole... Save sex till marriage, go to church, be filled with the Holy Spirit. It's not really gonna help me with football or the super hot girlfriend I don't have anymore. Can't be done. I do it. Okay, some people can do it, but most can't. Why not? Look, Emma, no offense, but you've got like the super family, okay? Uncle Chuck and Aunt Rose are amazing. You get along with Whoa, your sisters. it's not as perfect as it looks. It's better than mine. I've got Bill the boyfriend kissing up to me, and my dad's only showing up now that I'm doing well in football so he can brag about me at the bar with his friends. Josh, I get it. It's not like I don't know what's going on. That doesn't mean you can use it as an excuse to give up on God. And yes, I'm bringing up God, the one that created us, because he might be able to help just a bit. I don't know. Josh, please. Let me get through the season, okay? I'll go to church when things aren't as busy. Things are always going to be busy. Look, you have to make a choice. St. Teresa Lisieux said, no one can be half a saint. You are or you aren't. Well, St. Therese came from a loving family, and all of her sisters became nuns. So... What about St. Maximilian Kolbe? He was in a concentration camp. He offered his life up to another prisoner and starved to death. I mean, I know football camp is hard, but... Ha, but ha. Look, he was... Already an older guy, a priest. Look, Emma, again, don't get me wrong. It's cool. It really is. It's just... It's not for me. Well, what about Blessed Jose Sanchez del Rio? Who? In the beginning of the 20th century, when the Mexican government was trying to get rid of Catholics, they cut his feet and made him walk on rocky ground to renounce his faith. Really? All he had to do was say, death to Christ the King. And he wouldn't. And they brought him in front of his family and shot him. He was 14. Look, Josh, if you don't want to follow Jesus, that's one thing. But don't say you can't. If there's one thing saints teach us, it's that anyone, anywhere can be a saint. And they're praying for us, praying for you right now. St. Therese, St. Colby, Blessed Jose, Uncle Tim. Remember that medal he gave you before he died? Yeah. Well, I lost that. What? I, I don't wear jewelry. You... Fine, make up all the excuses you want, but you're better than this. You're, you're more than football and Sarah Hansen and lying to get what you want. That medal he gave you, it's called a miraculous medal, a medal of Mary, the mother of Jesus and queen of all saints. Uncle Tim believed that Mary and the saints helped him through life. If you're not gonna learn from them, at least learn from him. Pray for me.